Now I still have to create users. So I'm going to show you how to create a user for the SFTP uh, in order for me to log in. So I'm going to go to Control Panel. I'm going to go to Administrative Tools. And remember, I'm using a Windows Server 2012 here. And I'm going to go to Computer Management. And I'm going to create my local users. So I have some FTP users. I'm going to create a new user here called uh, SFTP user 01 copy the name and um, just a standard password here create now that account is created and you'll see I have an SFTP user so now I could I'm ready to log in but not quite because I haven't actually set up the password file but I'm gonna do it for the heck of it to show you what happens when I don't when I skip that step so I'm gonna go and my username's this type in my password and type in my port and you see it actually worked but I won't be able to log in but I actually connected which is a good sign because this shows that the uh, SFTP is running on port 22 and so the Windows service is up and you'll see here the authentication failed which is what I expected so why, why is that um, if I go back to my SIGWIN folder here what I have to do is in the Etsy directory there's a password file here and if I open this with um, alright I, I actually need I actually want to install notepad++ here so uh, give me just one second Okay, so I just installed Notepad++ and I'm going to drag this uh, password file from this directory here into here and, and you'll see it's it's a bunch of users. So the user I created was um, SFTP user 01. It, it's not here. So the, the way I put this in here is I go to my SIGWIN window and remember what, after I did the install it prompted me to put an icon on the desktop so that's what this is here so this is the SIGWIN terminal and uh, normally uh, you type in the command and you're basically overwriting the users here uh, I mean overwriting the password file here with all the local users so you'll notice after I after I typed in this command and I refresh this file it's in here so um, that's one way of doing it An another way of doing it is actually this command local and I'm, I'm just gonna redirect this output to a file that um, in the administrators directory so if I hit enter here it created that file of the list of users in this home directory right here and let me so the end the end of lines is all uh, wrapping here so let me open it up in uh, notepad++ and you notice this is my users file so normally I what I do is I, I choose my user and I copy it into this password file here but it's already here because I ran that command before so there there's multiple ways of doing it if, if you don't want to overwrite it each time or if there are certain users you want to include and don't want to include you you might have want to do this manually um, and you notice the other information in here is the home directory so there's there's actually no home directory created yet for this user so when I choose to log in 
And now I, I, I can actually log in now because the password file does contain that user. So if I go back to my Etsy folder here under Sigwin64, in this file, which is the file you see here, this user now does exist and I actually hit save. Uh, so um, when I log in now and I do the quick connect, you'll see I'm logged in. Now you, you'll see where I'm logged in. I'm, I'm actually logged in to the root directory here of this Sigwin. So my other my other uh, videos show you how to lock this down. Um, but one, one thing I have to create here is a home directory for this user. So let me go ahead and do that and re-log in. And by default, the convention is to use the username as the folder. So when you log in as that user, it goes into that user's folder. So to verify that, I'm, I'm going to put a quick uh, text file in here that says here I am user 01 and I'm, I'm gonna do another connection or actually let me close this out open another one and I'm, I'm gonna log in again as a uh, that user so th th that that was just a shortcut of uh, the credentials that I put in so that's the server sftp user 01 and then my password and port 22 I'm gonna hit quick connect and you'll notice again I'm prompted uh, so you, you'll see now I, I actually went into this folder because on the file system I actually created that users folder and you'll notice I am in that folder because that was the file I created but once again you, you'll see yeah by default I actually go into my user folder but I could still navigate around into other people's stuff and worse I can navigate into this root directory of where all my binaries are so in my other video I actually show you how to lock that down uh, so make make sure to watch that video and I'll put a link um, an annotation or a link uh, on the video here to show you how to do that